planet Earth. Or as the rest of the Omniverse call it, the Orb of Dreamers. The occupants of which spend so much time asleep and dreaming. Their vast imaginations humming away, charged with creative energy. Where does it all go? Up through a cerebral umbilical cord where it collects and melds with all the other dreamers' energy. And something wonderful happens. It forms a world, an ethereal dreamscape of adventure and possibilities. An abstract plane of beautiful wonderment just waiting to be explored. And you can go there now. On the little big planet, you're a little sack person. This one is you. Oh, bless. You're quite a cute one. Now, to move around, use the left stick. Just push it a little for dainty tippy toes, or push it all the way to run like your sacking depends upon it. And don't forget your three J's. Jump, jump, jump. Give the action button a short, sharp press for a small hop, or hold it down for a huge, boundy leap. On you go. Now, you probably want to look stylish and sexy as you're gadding about Little Big Planet, so you need to know how to get your kit on, or how to put your glad rags on. Press the menu button to access your poppet. Now, the poppet is the most useful tool since some Swiss bloke welded a knife and a screwdriver together. So let's have a Sammy Shufti. Hmm? Use the left stick to go through the various icons on the Poppet main menu. Press Action to choose one. For now, choose Customize Character. This takes you to your Customize Character pages, where you can have a rummage about to find a new style of sack material. Use the left stick to select something that says, Hey, I'm a sack person. Get used to it. This is also your little big boutique, where you can peruse myriad fashions. Some magic, some tragic. If you're in one of those moods where you simply can't decide what clothes go with your ears at the moment, just select this icon, which randomly chooses some gad rags for you. To get out of Poppet, 
Just press the back button to go back a level. And press it again to close it completely. Oh, you're going to be the talk of little big planet in that get-up. Either that or laughing stock. Okay, it's time to shake things up a bit. If you tilt the wireless controller you're holding, you can animate yourself. Press the left stick to alternate between moving your head and your pelvis. You can change your sack person's expressions too, using the directional buttons. Come on then, give us a little smile. Press the up button. Come on. Ah, see, you're happy. Press the down button and you'll become down. Look at that, a face like a smacked bottom. Press the left button and you go all worried. <gasps> what was that? Press the right button and you get all cross and tough. By holding down the limb buttons, you can use the sticks to control your arms. Yes, you can stop being mean and moody now. We're all very impressed. Your pod is a cross between your bedroom and your first shed. It's the place you'll chill out in between adventures and excursions, and you can have it exactly the way you want it. The controller, that thing back there, is your pod computer, your inventory and access device. Switch it on by standing in front of it and pressing the menu button. If you were to stand on Little Big Planet and try to imagine a more astounding, fantastic and creative place full of enthralling adventures, uncanny characters and brilliant things to do, you couldn't. All imagination is here and what you do with it all is entirely up to you. Build new levels and expand the environment. Collect the many and varied tools and objects to make your mark on this world. Just simply enjoy the people and puzzles they've set. Little Big Planet is the manifested embodiment of your perfect dream world. So let fly your imagination with just a touch of the action button. Well, you're not backward at coming forward. You've gone to meet one of the creator curators. They tend and maintain Little Big Planet when you're awake. This one is the King of the Gardens. Press the action button to see what he's got for us today. This is a Little Big Planet seal. No, don't give it a fish, it's not that kind of seal. It's a badge, a map reference if you like, to indicate somewhere wonderful a creator curator has made for you. Select with your action button and explore.
Now, occasionally, you're going to get stuck. It's nothing to get upset about. Don't go hurling your controller at the cat, because it might throw something back and it'll only escalate and then, oh. If there's really no way out, press the menu button to bring up your poppet. Using the left stick, select the try again icon. Then press and hold the action button. We'd like to say no little sack person is harmed during the playing of Little Big Planet. We'd like to say that. <clears throat> anyway, another... Collecting stickers is the height of cool in Little Big Planet. Press the menu button to bring up Poppet and go to your stickers and decorations page. Now swirl, peruse and marvel at the sheer overwhelming splendidness of your collection. Then find the one you want with the left stick and choose it with the action button. Let's stick it to something. Move it around the world using the left stick, like this. Use the right stick to change its size and rotation. Up and down to make it bigger or smaller. Left and right to rotate it. Then stick it down with the action button. If you have a keen artistic eye and want to mirror image your sticker, press the right stick. 
often use the action button to stick it down. Oh, yes. Very Andy Warhol. Remember, it's the back button to get back to your poppet and choose another sticker. Then move it around with the left stick and stamp it down with action as many times as you like. You're very impressive. You must have visited Little Big Planet in your dreams many times before, have you? Well, you can either retread your steps and improve your score, or visit this new place you've discovered. Use the left stick to choose whichever option floats your boat.